So what is a preset? Well, to help understand that, we gotta start with what was it like before presets? So you look at something like this Moog where it's all knobs. There's no way to store any of the positions of the knobs. There's no way to store any of the positions of the patch cords. So when they finally did come up with a way to store those things, they called them patches or presets because they're literally preset all of the settings that you can possibly have. That works not only for keyboards, but rack mount devices. You can have presets inside your virtual things and your computer. I've got some effects here, so I can change reverb and delay settings here. You can see me doing that. I can change EQ settings with different presets. All presets means is that something's stored. Now, where it gets a little complicated is on a synthesizer that has lots of knobs but presets, when you change presets, the knobs don't magically move to those positions. So you have to kind of fiddle with the knob to find out where it is. And there's different ways of how it jumps or moves absolute or relative to where you currently are. Those are all different settings. And I have a synth clips video you can watch. But now I'm just gonna show you some presets because this is a beautiful synth. This is the Hydrosynth Deluxe. And now I've changed a preset. And so you can see everything about the sound changes when I change a preset. And how many presets can something have? Well, that's different per synthesizer and almost is always listed in the specs of the thing. If you have any further questions about presetable synthesizers or non-presetable synthesizers, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. My name is Daniel Fisher. Thank you very much for watching.